yeah it was really good it was helpful and memorable because i didn't know i could learn so much like apparently i have so much knowledge about ds and java so that's why i would say it's memorable and it it was helpful for me uh hey everyone welcome to akio jobs youtube channel uh today we have a very amazing guest with us named shriram shriram completed his graduation this year from bits hyderabad in electrical and electronics shriram joined akio job this year in 2022 january while he was still finishing his college and was in fourth year and now he is placed in varian at an 8 lpa package so let's welcome shriram and get to know more about his journey uh hi shriram hi hello everyone Shriram can you start with telling some things about yourself your background and everything Hello everybody my name is Shriram and I am from Hyderabad and I have studied I am at 10th standard in Sri Chaitanya school and then from intermediate I studied in the Rama Institute and after that I have studied in Bits Hyderabad my engineering in Bits Hyderabad in Tripoli and I have just completed my engineering this year and currently I am working in Varian for a month and this is all about me uh, so uh, once you joined akio job how was your journey with us so it was a really good journey as i said there were really good mentors through which i have understood all the concepts of dsa data structures and algorithms and there were also exercises which i could do to the website the portal and i practiced them and there were also notes I have referred to them, and it was a really good experience, which I like. And the placements are also very good. Like there was like uh, one one or two companies every day since like since I completed my DSA. So it was a really good placement, and the process was also good. I liked it. So you have shifted from electrical and electronics, right? So when and how exactly did you decide? You know that you, I don't want to uh, work in electrical and electronics field and rather work in full stack web development. So when and how did you decide that? Uh, so it was during my second and third year where like I had to take some courses, additional courses, other than my core courses. So the most of the courses I took were from the CS background, and through which I was very interested in CS. Like I have done OOPs, operating systems, computer architecture. They were really good courses, and they made me interested in CS and coding, mainly coding. Yes. So now that you are placed and you know you have completed your course with us. uh can you tell us something about the mentors and the batch managers how were they how did they help you you know to reach to this level so they were very good so initially like when i first came across a job i think it was i was searching for jobs and it just popped up through google ads so i was scrolling through the google ads and i found that and then i read about it like it, it looked it was like when i first read about it like it felt too good to be true like there were just the courses and we we would have to pay after getting a job it like it didn't feel true but since like they weren't taking any money at the start so i thought to give it a shot and then the batch manager was lakshay for me uh, i mean like a really good batch manager whenever i had any doubts i'd ask him and he could clear my doubts yes and the lecturer which i had for dsa was vibhav he explained really good and more mainly he had really good examples <laughs> for the explanations here which i really liked so once you start with your modules uh, there comes a times when you have to you know sit for the mock interviews and mock hr interviews so there are many students who are you know hesitant about sitting in those mocks so what do you have to say to those students you know who are still hesitant about Uh, sitting in the mock interviews and mock HR interviews, do you have something, some advice to say to them, and how did it help you? I uh, said, so don't be hesitant. Like, why? these are just mock interviews, not the real interviews. And also, the the people which I had interviews with were very friendly, and they even gave me feedback after every interview. Like, I had, I know, I knew where I had to improve so that I could put more effort on that. The, some marks say even if you don't do well, nothing to feel bad about it. They'll tell you what not to do and what to do. So it, it's better if you attend it. It's a mock anyway, so nothing will happen if you attend it. So you have switched fields, right? So you have shifted from electrical and electronics to full stack web development. 
so how was that journey for you how much hurdles did you face while switching fields like so as during my second and third year i knew that i was more interested in cs than electronics so when i thought of switching orders like i had to study both electronics and the cs parts because i had to graduate with a good cg and it have a good knowledge about the computer subjects so i had to do both of them simultaneously it was a little hard but if you are really interested like you can manage both of them <laughs> so i did that and most of my preparation started at the like at the third year second sem so most of that like i started learning python about dsa and java at that stage so before that i was all about electronics uh what advice would you give to our you know prospective students there are some students who are think still thinking about to join acquio job there are students who are you know have just started their new course so what advice would you give to the prospective students oh so for those i would say that see it is a genuine one even if you think this is too good to be true it's a genuine one they'll teach you about dsa and they'll also teach you about front end app development and also there are placements see as you know every, everybody will get above ilpa so you can just attend the classes practice and you'll get a job see see the course model they made the model such that you'll get good practice and good knowledge about the subjects so if you don't have like if you don't have knowledge on the subject i would say join it just join it it's really good it's that good okay. so uh, now that you are placed uh how was your place how was the placement pro- process that we provide you know the placement process that is provided by us how was that no it was really good as i said and the placement doesn't start until you complete dsa and once it started there were like one or two companies every day so you could apply for them and you could sit for the interviews they were a really good process for that so and all of jobs are they had very good packages and they are from good companies a really good placement scheme if you ask me so i could apply to as many as i can and i got a good job friendly just like that so yeah it was really good we just have one last question for you so could you explain this you know whole entire journey of acquio job in you know a couple of words or a sentence what would you say maybe i would say helpful and memorable See, because it was very helpful for me to learn the data structures and Java and everything. Like I tried to learn before joining Acquio job, but the mentors here were really good. So I had to learn. Like it was easy to learn through the lectures and notes, and I didn't have much problems with that. And even if I had doubt, there was a separate doubt session for that, where I could have asked doubts. Yeah, it was really good. It was helpful and memorable because. I didn't know I could learn so much. Like apparently, I have so much knowledge about DSA and Java, so that's why I would say it's memorable, and it will it was helpful for me. So, Shriram, I am so glad that you had you know such an amazing journey with us. Uh, thank you so much, and I wish you all the best for the future endeavors. Uh, you, as you are our alumni, you can reach out to us any time that you want to, and we'll be readily available to you. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like this video and share it with your friends. Write in the comment section below what kind of videos do you want us to post and subscribe to our channel. Also to join Acquio Jobs next batch, uh, register online. The link is in the description below. Have a great day and keep learning.